I'm looking at three online investment platforms and what works best on each of them. Hey, I'm Rebecca. Thanks for joining me on the Mama Lorian Way, where I'm looking for ways to make my life richer, hopefully yours, and to stay creative about how we deal with our finances. Today, three investment platforms online and what I think, just my opinion of what's best in each of them. Like and subscribe, please. I always forget to say that, but it really, really helps me keep going. The three platforms I want to look at today are Fundrise.com, RealtyMogul.com, and yieldstreet.com. First of all, let's go to Fundrise. Okay, here we are on Fundrise.com. I already did a video about this, so um, I'm not gonna go into the details, but one thing I really like about this is the fact that you can use your IRA to invest in Fundrise's portfolio with as little as like $1,000 and not get hammered on the funds. So Fundrise is open to accredited and non-accredited investors and you invest into their real estate portfolio fund. You can start with your IRA, which I'm talking about today, your self-directed individual retirement account with as little as $1,000 which is awesome because most IRA accounts, you're looking at having to like bump them up a lot before you can get into any investment and then you get hammered on the fees. In Fundrise, you're looking at maybe four to 10% return on these opportunities. It's blended, so it's a pretty good rate if you balance it out. Maybe it's about six to 10% in your IRA. But the best thing is, and this is it, in your self-directed IRAs, there's always fees associated with a custodian. Fundrise, their IRA custodian, Millennium Trust Company, charges an annual asset fee of $125 when you invest through one of our investment plans. Well, since they basically only have have their fund, you're, you only are, are paying for one asset. And there are ways, this is awesome, to get your 125 fee waived, one year fee waiver if you invest 3000 or more, or an annually recurring fee waiver when you achieve and maintain an account of value of over 25000 So there's definitely strength in numbers here, but you could get your first year, put in $3,000 and not have to pay the 125 We are paying and our IRAs, a lot more for that. If you're thinking that's a lot, it's actually an awesome deal. So number one reason about Fundrise, you can invest as little as $1,000 in a self-directed IRA and start making your money work for you with your own discretion. And you can also get that fee waived when you invest at least 3,000. That's Fundrise. The next site I wanna look at is realtymogul.com. I've also done a video on that one, so you can check that out. They have two REITs for non-accredited investors, and they also have individual offerings for accredited investors. Accredited investors, if you make a certain amount a year or you have a net worth of at least a million dollars, not including your house. So it's not for everybody, all the products, but I do like something particularly about Realty Mogul. So let me go to that website, realtymogul.com. Looking at just the investment opportunities, they do have an income REIT and a growth REIT for non-accredited investors. And then for accredited investors, meaning your net worth or your income is a certain amount, you can invest in individual properties like this is, happens to be like a multifamily um, in New Jersey, cold storage, industrial, oh, industrial, I was looking for those. <laughs> Uh, looking at their target IRR, or return on investment, 25%, 20% hold for five years. So a lot of these are investing quite a bit, 35,000 minimum for a long hold. So you want to know, I would think, what is this property about? And the best thing that Realty Mogul does, I think, and I've been on their email list for about a year, is they have their sponsors, it's just, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> okay, I can just look at the little thumbnails here. The sponsors of these projects, the people who are actually going out and buying like the, the storage or the multifamily, they have a lot of multifamily, which means like apartments. Here's another Dallas-Fort Worth portfolio of storage. Storage is really hot right now. The sponsors of people who are actually buying the properties and going to be managing them, 
which is important because they're the ones that are going to be giving you your return or not, are very transparent. They do webinars about their projects. They put up all the due diligence paperwork and documents, I guess, digital paperwork. You can access, if you're that, I would be, if you're that industrious, you can always access and figure out who the sponsors are, go to their websites and understand who is behind the deal. This is what I like about Realty Mogul. I also just kind of stumbled on this when I was doing my research. Their closed opportunities, you can see what their returns were by recently closed, by the IRR and the hold period. So recently closed, the actual IRR is 32%. The target was 13.5. They're doing pretty good. These are just the recently closed. You can see the best return on your investment was almost, it was 53% in like, what is 0.2 year, like a few months. That's pretty amazing. These are the ones that have performed awesomely, and you could probably look at the sponsors of those and look what the sponsors are doing for their next project. A lot of these IRRs are higher than what their target was, which is always good. You want people to say the target is less and you know under promise and over deliver, but you can check it out and see what actually happened. I am not even signed into this, so anybody can look at this. And also the hold period. So this was barely held for not even a year. Some are very short. Some, let's scroll down. Oh my gosh. Scroll, scroll, scroll. My goodness. <laughs> There's still look at all these properties that have actually closed. Um, actual hold period 4.2 years. That seems more likely, but some of them are held. They're supposed to be held for five years and they're only held for four years. And this one looks like it went bust. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so. I don't know. Don't invest with them. Anyways, you can look and see the past history of projects and probably go check out the sponsors. And again, they're very transparent in, in the projects, the sponsors, and the actual returns. And finally, I want to talk about YieldStreet.com. Now, I have not done a video on Yield Street, but I plan to. Yield Street, what I find really interesting is their range of investments. So you can invest in a lot of different things that are not just multifamily apartment buildings or funds. Let me go to their site. So we are here, yieldstreet.com. And with Yield Street, and you have to be an accredited investor, these offerings are really interesting and maybe will spark your interest and motivation to become an accredited investor. They offer all these different products, art investing, multi-class fund, short-term notes, structured notes, and supply chain investing. Let's go into the products, art investing. You can invest in art on Yield Street. You can invest in an art portfolio. You don't have to go out and figure out which painting to buy and then sell for a profit. They're doing it for you. This is pretty unusual and pretty awesome. A great way to appreciate art is to invest in it. And art is one of these markets that kind of is holding a lot of returns and that you have access to it through Yield Street. You also have access to short-term notes, an annualized yield of 4%. Why do you do a short-term note? Well, maybe you have a chunk of money that's not working anywhere and you need to put it somewhere that's not your savings account making maybe 0 0.02, maybe 0 0.03, who knows, that you can get a little bit more on your money while you're waiting maybe to put it somewhere else. So sh art, short-term notes, structured notes, Structured notes are hybrid securities issued as debt, but outcomes are tied to performance in an underlying stock. It's more safe than a stock, maybe not the upside, but not the potential downside. And you don't necessarily have access to these structured notes without going through maybe Yield Street or somebody else. You can invest in multifamily equity, so you can own an equity in Dallas Fort Worth, you can own an equity into a Boston multifamily. You can diversify into Art Equity Fund, Artist of Harlem, a portfolio of 19 multifamily buildings. So even into a portfolio and you can mix and match and diversify across everything. You can also, the Prism Fund is always open. It's spread across multiple assets, including art, commercial, consumer, legal. You can invest in legal Legal settlements. You can invest in legal settlements funds. So actually people will sell their settlements and people will buy into that and you can invest in legal settlement. Pretty crazy. And then there's one more thing, supply chain investing. So you can also invest in supply chain financing. I'm not even 100% sure what it is. Every once in a while they have products up here that you can invest in shipping containers. 
<laughs> All right, so Yield Street, the things I do like about Yield Street, the diversity. You can invest in fine art. You can invest in shipping containers. You can invest in real estate. You can invest in notes. You can invest in short-term notes and structured notes. Like the possibilities are endless. Whew, whew. Maybe it's reasons to like uh, consider trying to be an accredited investor. And just to recap, best thing about Fundrise is the ability to invest a little bit in an IRA and not get hit with certain fees. Best thing I think about Realty Mogul is their transparency and the accessibility to the due diligence and the seeing what the past returns really look like. And best thing about Yield Street is just the diversity of assets that you could invest in. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate your support. Like and subscribe. It helps me keep going and I will catch you on the next one.